Okay, so we see lots of problems where looking at equations with exponential growth. Um, and we'll talk about the basic approach to it, which is that y is going to equal a times b to the t, oops, where a, let me fix that, it doesn't look very good, a times b to the t power, where a represents your initial value, right? b represents your change, right? How much is growing, how much is your um, value increasing or decreasing each year, and t represents the time period, and specifically the time period of the growth. So if it's, if it's every year or whatever, um, you had to calculate how often, how many time periods are passing, um, which we're not going to get into right here. But uh, there's a logic behind this. You don't need to memorize it. Let's look at this problem. There are 64 teams uh, to compete in a tournament. After each round, half the teams were eliminated, which equation represents the number of teams um, after our rounds, so our time period is rounds here. But the logic, I think, you know, I, when I try to rediscover this logic and I forget everything we're talking about uh, when I'm doing this, we'll have um, r equal the round number and t equal the number of teams left, just like they have in the equation. So first we start with 64, right? So at the start, when r is, is 0, there are 64 um, teams available. And then with one round, there'll be 32 teams because we're halving them. After two rounds, there'll be 16. Three rounds, there'll be eight. Four rounds, there'll be four, right? We're halving each time. Five rounds, there'll be two. Six rounds, there'll be the one remaining team. So there's this idea that we're halving 64 each time. So you can think of 64 when there was one round, right? Um, you multiply 64 by one half once. When there's two rounds, you multiply 64 by one half twice, really, times a half to get 32 times a half again. When you multiply, when you have three rounds, you multiply 64 by one half to the third because you're having it three times. So in general, you could say you start off with 64 teams and you're halving it how many times? Well, r times the number of rounds. So as an, another example, when r is 5, you have 64 times 1 half to the fifth. And 1 half to the fifth is 1 half times itself 5 times, which is 1 over 32, right? So we get 64, just testing this formula out, times 1 over 32. And that is equal to, right, 2, because 32 goes in 64 twice. And that's correct. After five rounds, there are two teams. And it even works for the zero case, because when r is zero, right, you have 64 times 1 half to the zero. Now, zero, it's 1 half to the zero power is 1. So it would be 64 times 1. And that's true. There are 64 teams at the start when there are zero rounds. So this can be shown um, here, right? 64, t equals 64 times 0.5 to the r power or to the amount of rounds that we have.